What's up everybody, this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13 and let's talk about Mopar Max 2019 Dodge Charger. What you just witnessed is the startup and shutdown animations that are integrated into this vehicle. We are now running a grand total of four Blue Ghost controllers on this car. Phase one of this vehicle was the installation of the snorkels and the underglow. That was two Blue Ghost controllers. And this phase is now the headlights and fog lights. So that's where the other two Blue Ghost controllers are being used. One on the halos and one on the DRLs, which was the client request because he wanted to be able to control them independently of each other. These are new products to me. This was really exciting. These products, these DRL bars and that Halo are from Next Level Neo. They are very reasonably competitively priced and they are the 5 volt SK LEDs addressable, which puts them pretty much on par with the Lighting Trends products. However, there are a couple really key differences. First and foremost, as you can see, they have a diffuser coating on them, a nice milky finish. And that actually looks really decent. So I'm extremely pleased with that because it means I didn't have to put any LEDs in some tubes or I didn't have to put it behind the factory diffuser. It just basically drops right into place. And the DRL bars and the halos both match because they have the same finish on them. So I definitely like that. The other super, super big deal is that these products all have data outs. So it was much easier than the Lighting Trends kit in order to do the DRL bars upper and lower in series rather than parallel and that allows me to do a proper offset when I'm doing the programming. On the halo that has a data out so that allowed me to series the halo of the headlight and the halo on the fog light. If I was using other products that would not have been an easy task to pull off. The lower fog light halo is still the Lighting Trends 55 millimeter waterproof halo. It is behind a smoked diffuser so you can't even tell that it's down there. Everything's just epoxied into place so it looks like it belongs until you turn it on and it sinks in with everything else. I would like to mention that these products are all extremely bright. So right now, because my camera is going to freak out if I put it up on full brightness, this is actually at 10% brightness. So this is the kaleidoscope mode, which is pretty much what everyone likes to run when they want to show off their rainbow bright. Now this is hyperspectral, which I always love showing off because it's basically like a kaleidoscope, but it goes bouncing from side to side. And this is just a really cool effect on this car because as you can see, it's going through so many different products so seamlessly. This may be a good time to mention that underglow kits, which are 12 volt products, have three LEDs per address. And all of these products that you're seeing up here, the snorkels, the DRLs, the halos, are all five volt products, which have each individual LED as an address, which is basically a complicated way of saying that the underglow moves three times as fast as these headlight products. So when you see that it reaches the end of the headlight, it's actually already reached all the way around the car and has come back. So it's not like underglow really syncs visually quite as well as all the five volt products at the same time. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to design a system of your own. Now this mode is called slats and I really like it because again, it showcases the syncing that it does. I've got the brightness on this actually at 5% right now so that you can actually pick it up on the camera. But what I'm really quite proud of is how well I can sync it right across the halo along with the strips. You can see that they don't actually quite line up, so you need to do an offset. I think I do either two or three cells in order to get them line up perfectly. And the ability to line up with the fog light as well is just a super cool effect. Now this one is called Star Power. Again, I've got the brightness down to about 10% right now so the camera can pick it up. It's kind of like the kaleidoscope one, but it's got these, you know, all the glittery things going on. So I actually really like this one. I think it's a fabulous show mode. Crossfire is another crowd favorite. Big fan. Just going to showcase it right now. Just like, haha, isn't it cool? This one's Parade. Okay, we get the idea. Blue Ghost has a ton of built-in features and a ton of different modes. You can customize them and program them. You can make them do whatever you want. My point is just to showcase you that this is the type of installation stuff that I absolutely love doing. Now here's the pop quiz question to find out if you're a long time watcher of my videos. What is my favorite feature of these custom headlight builds that I always get to do? 
If you guessed turn signal, give yourself a cookie and a pat on the back because that is correct. I love turn signals. This one is super fun because not only we have the underglow going as a turn signal, duh, but the DRLs I have in one mode where it chases all the way down. The OEM LED is of course blinking and the halos are actually doing a full on and then fade outwards. So it looks like it's all synced together, but it's actually three different modes. This is just the way that I set it up, but the client obviously has all of the freedom in the world to change it to whatever you want. You can even make the turn signals different colors if you want, but I generally think that amber is probably the best bet. And just as a reminder, in case you're running a show mode while you're driving around, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend that one, if you're running a show mode while driving around and you use your turn signal, the turn signal always overrides the show mode. Ooh, I'm sorry, I don't know if I actually mentioned this. All of these products are RGBW, so they have dedicated white chips, which means that they make a beautiful pure white. And this brightness is on 5% right now so that the camera doesn't freak out, but it looks so good. When I put that up on Max, on brightness, you can see what it looks like, man. It's just crazy. So I very frequently get asked how much for these types of installations. Now, the problem with answering that directly and quickly and easily is that I don't know because there's so many different variables of what we could do with it. There's so many different ways to accomplish similar goals. So that's why I like showcasing more different unique products that are used and installed in different ways that behave differently. And always, as always, please take note of the fact that pricing and product information will be in the video description. So reference down there for starters and do a little search on my YouTube channel. You can see all the other charger builds that I've done. There's a lots of different features available out there. So I think that's actually all I got to say on this one. I'm just a little enamored with how pretty it came out. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you think that my video earned your like or subscription, please, by all means do. Otherwise, just have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. See you.